I'm Siobhan McGrath. I am the co-head of private equity at McCarthy Tatro and a partner in the Toronto office. I represent both domestic and international clients with their investment activities in Canada. My name is Mark Atkins. I'm the managing partner of the New York City office of McCarthy Tetro. Uh, I advise U.S. clients, particularly private equity, on their cross-border acquisitions of Canadian businesses. With investors allocating more and more of their capital to private equity, we have seen a drastic increase in market activity. In 2017, 29% of all Canadian bioactivities were conducted by U.S. investors, and that represents the fourth year straight of increased market share. In terms of U.S. private equity acquisitions of Canadian targets, it's really been all over the map by sector. We've seen U.S. private equity come in and make acquisitions in general industrial companies, uh, automotive, uh, tech, and even agribusiness. Um, the one exception is we've not seen U.S. private equity show a lot of interest in Canadian oil and gas assets to this point. Uh, they're still exploring ways to uh, uh, you know, make a return off of U.S. oil and gas and have shown a lot less interest in Alberta's oil patch. What our clients look for from us and what I think is the key to advising these kind of clients on cross-border acquisitions is you have to think beyond the initial purchase and really look to the entire uh, investment thesis and the full life cycle of their investment in that company. As a lawyer, I can negotiate the most effective purchase agreement in the world and ensure that our clients have all the protections they need. But if we don't structure that investment correctly up front, to ensure that they can extract uh, earnings from the company as they hold it and then have an efficient exit through a sale or an IPO, uh, we really haven't helped that client. So what our clients expect and what we try to provide to them is advice on the full life cycle from acquisition to disposition. Our clients have sophisticated internal deal teams, which often includes internal deal counsel. So they do look to us for all things Canadian law, but in addition to that, we help our clients with understanding and navigating the Canadian landscape, whether that's bid strategy, deal structure, or just the differences between U.S. and Canadian business practices. Managing Delaware guidance is always top of mind in Canadian deals. These Delaware decisions are appearing in our Canadian agreements more and more, so it's important for us to understand the differences between Canadian and U.S. law in order to guide our clients through the negotiation process. Well, almost uniformly, U.S. private equity funds are very sophisticated investors, and they are you know, very uh, disciplined in terms of imposing their terms on the deal process, uh, not only to make sure they get the best deal for that particular acquisition, but they also set a market precedent for how they do other deals. So um, we see, especially on the sell side, um, a lot of pressure from uh, U.S. private equity funds to ensure a clean exit, uh, less trailing liabilities, and that prompts the use of products like rep and warranty insurance and uh, you know, other really seller-friendly terms on the disposition. And that is creeping into every aspect of the Canadian deal environment now, not just in private equity, uh, but across strategics um, and, uh, and, and other financial buyers in Canada. McCarthy Tetro opened our New York City office to be boots on the ground for our U.S. clients, and in particular for our U.S. private equity clients. We have an unparalleled depth of expertise in this area and a tremendous deal team to you know, help U.S. private equity make Canadian acquisitions. I would encourage uh, any funds who haven't worked with us to pick up the phone and start the conversation. Uh, we think we're very well positioned to help. <music>